Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going back to uh, Halo, and we're going to be taking a look at what it's like to use and control the security cameras in Halo 3. So, as you have noticed, on the map, um, the pit, as well as several other campaign maps, uh, a couple other campaign maps, you might have noticed there are some security cameras around the maps that actually follow you, or, you know, look at you as you move around. And, well, for today, we'll be seeing what it's like to actually use and uh, take over and control them. But before we get into that, I want to first announce an awesome giveaway from my sponsor Insta Gaming, where you can win any game of your choice. You can find a link for this giveaway in the description below. So if you want to win the game of your choice, any game at all really, then all you have to do is click on the link below and enter the game you would like to win. You can also click some of the additional blue buttons for more chances to win as well. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And after doing all that, you're entered in the contest to win the game of your choice. But make sure to act fast, because this giveaway is for this month only. Alright, so, before we uh, get inside and use these cameras, there's a little interesting story with these cameras on the map The Pit. As in, on this map, there actually are, you know, functional security cameras that actually, you know, do, do what they're supposed to do. Uh, you might have noticed back in the day, there were some modded maps out there where in the center room of this map, the sword room, there were screens inside this room here, uh, but like, you know, separate screens, N not the ones on the wall, but like separate like floating screens that were modded in, where if you looked at them, you, you could actually see their link to, you know, security cameras around the map, and they actually showed you live footage from uh, that section of the map, so you could actually like watch other players walking around uh, through the map, uh, as, as long as they're within view of the security cameras. I don't know if they're actually like directly linked to these uh, security cameras that you see following us around. They might be like separate invisible ones, but uh, point is, this map actually was supposed to have functional security cameras at one point where people could, you know, actually see through them. But that was cut from the game. Uh, I mean, you know, the all that stuff is still in a game file, so it's just you know not available in gameplay. But anyways, this is what it's like to use a security camera. This is. By default, uh, with barely any changes, the only changes I made was, you know, being able to use the security camera as a player. So, security cameras are actually considered turrets. More specifically, they're very close to plasma cannons. Uh, but um, you can see, like the text, uh, the it says hold B to enter to use plasma cannon. It's a, uh, it's pretty close. To it. I can even detach it. Um, but detaching it doesn't do anything uh, and I can get back on and you know detach again it's not like I broke the security camera but yeah so this is a uh, you know by default it is third person it is like a turret and I do you know control it in this way but as you can see when I look around the camera does move where I look so I am controlling it just in this case it's in third person but you know that, that's by default and obviously you weren't really meant to be able to use security camera in the first place, so they probably just you know use like a plasma cannon as like a base, and then um, just change it into a security camera and put it on the walls. But this is what it looks like in first person. If I change it to that instead, um, there is no like official HUD really for the security camera. Again, you know you weren't really supposed to be able to use them in the first place, but it was actually you know, quite easy to mod the security camera to be usable. Um, a lot of other vehicles in the game that you're not supposed to use, they actually have, you know, the ability for players to use them disabled. But this one actually was not, you know, explicitly disabled for uh, for players. The uh, the option to disable for players was actually unchecked in the game files. So it's uh, one less step, really, <laughs> even though that, that step to uncheck the box takes, like, half a second. But, yeah, so... For some reason, like when I use the camera this way, I, I can only rotate it like a little bit um, to the left and up and down a little bit as well. I can't rotate it all the way to the right though. When the camera is spawning normally in gameplay, like on a wall, and you know you saw it following me around, that's being controlled by an AI essentially, a very basic one. But I can't turn the camera as much as the AI can. I can, you know, just left and left and center just a little bit. Um, for some reason, just turning it right does not work for me, for whatever reason, but uh, I have no idea why. 
by default at least. Uh, I'm sure it could be technically fixed, but just wanted to show you guys, you know, with minimal modifications, what it's like to use and control the security cameras. Uh, but yeah, so there you guys have it. That is what it's like to use these security cameras on a map. And you can see pretty much what the cameras see. So next time you walk by the cameras, just remember they are watching you and there is technically an AI in them watching you. <laughs> But yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. Uh, if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts in the comments, anything else you want me to check out or look into, or uh, other experiments you want me to test out. Just uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.